Hey guys, uh, 20 attorneys general have pushed back against Delaware in the lawsuit suing them for the assault weapon ban and magazine bans. Um, and excuse the little HVAC noise uh, because I had to find I had to find some shade. The heat index is already over 100, 104 degrees here. Uh, but uh, last night, my friends in the office of uh, Montana Attorney General Austin Knudsen sent me the uh, amicus brief from 20 states. I'm gonna give you a couple key highlights of it. And I'm also going to pin it down below. It's 35 pages, it's easy reading, uh, but they make some phenomenal points against Delaware uh, in, the, uh, in their assault weapon ban and high capacity magazine uh, lawsuit, the bans. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna read you a couple quick things from the presser and uh, some of the things that we already know but need to be said every single time tyrants be tyrant thing, right? So, uh, like I said, there were 20 state attorneys general asking the U.S. Court of Appeals in the Third Circuit to reverse the district court's decision to enjoin an unconstitutional set of laws passed by the Delaware legislature prohibiting the manufacturer, purchase, sale, and possession of so-called assault weapons commonly used by law-abiding law Americans for self-defense and large capacity magazines. Now, Delaware, um, they are banning not, not just uh, rifles, but also pistol versions of our semi-automatic uh, rifles, as well as magazines over 17 rounds. It, the bill is House Bill 450, and it bans 44 semi-automatic uh, assault long guns, is what they're calling them, including the AR-15 and 19 semi-automatic semi assault pistols, <laughs> new terms all the time, as well as copycat weapons. That's a term you've heard first up in Massachusetts. And uh, Senate Substitute 1 for Senate Bill 6 imposes a ban on the magazines uh, that can accept or hold more than 17 rounds of ammunition. Now, uh, all of this, we already know, is in violation of uh, Bruin, uh, Heller, Caetano, and McDonald's, right? Because these items have been in common use for a very, very long time. My head is getting hot with that sun. <laughs> uh, and there's no historical tradition of any type of regulation on firearms based strictly off of cosmetic features because they look so scary. Um, some will say that, you know, blunderbusses and early muskets look scary too, right? And some of them still do. The blunderbuss, man. <laughs> The wrong end of that looks very, very intimidating. Some things that were in the brief, uh, the Second Amendment stands as a reminder to state governments that the people have a pre-existing right to keep and bear arms and it extends to all bearable arms, including arms carried for offensive and defensive action in a case of conflict. We all know that. But again, these things need to be said for the tyrants because they play dumb and they, some cases are dumb, but not in many cases they are very, very smart. It also says the Second Amendment guarantees all Americans the right to keep and bear arms for self-defense and other lawful purposes, subject to certain reasonable, well-defined restrictions. That's, uh, that's from uh, the Supreme Court there. Um, and uh, the attorneys general, the states, what states are involved, Jared? I'm sure you already are asking that because it's the first thing I asked when I got the message from uh, Montana. Uh, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, South Carolina, South Dakota, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Now that's, to me, that's odd because uh, that's 20 states, like I said, obviously in the opener, switch hands here. Uh, but there are only 11 states that ban assault weapons. So why aren't the other states that don't have these bans in this list of states telling the Third Circuit this is a violation of Americans' rights and there's already case law by the Supreme Court, which is the supreme law of the land, reinforcing the Second Amendment. Why are there only 20 states? It makes me wonder uh, that uh, maybe some of them are not willing to uh, stand for Americans' rights. Our exhaust just uh, kicked on, that's why I'm walking away here at Blackout Coffee. And it smells phenomenal, but I don't want to get uh, smoked out. But yeah, let me know what you guys and gals think. 20 states have stood tall against the Third Circuit, against Delaware, saying, hell no, we have a right, and we're here to tell you that you need to follow 
not only the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, but also the Supreme Court decisions that have reinforced everything I've said before. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Um, I appreciate each and every single one of you. And uh, thank you for uh, supporting us here. It made, means so much to me. And, uh, you know, who would have thought that uh, I would be a business owner? <laughs> I thank you all. I hope you all have a phenomenal day. It is hot as Hades in Florida this week. Figures of all the times I come down here, it's a, it's a heat snap for them. I think today's going to be 98 again with a heat index of about 110. They said uh, stay indoors, but I'm going to play outside and in a metal building. <laughs> cooking things. It's awesome. I love each and every single one of you. If you're into the Second Amendment, then subscribe to the channel down below. Help me get to 650,000 subscribers for my birthday of July 25th. That would mean a lot to me. It's a number that I, in here, thought I would never ob obtain or attain. Uh, and uh, we're close. Appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.